Hey guys, so this is a quick tutorial on how to set up your SoftStep 2 for Loopy HD using the advanced editor. If you haven't played with it before, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but this should give you a little bit of info just on getting through All right, guys, so here's the SoftStep advanced editor. You're going to notice that the uh, SoftStep will be connected and it's going to open up in hosted mode. This would be for if you're actually using it while it's connected to the computer, but since we're connecting it to the iPad, we're going to go to standalone mode. Um, the presets that are already saved on it, they're going to be a bunch of things that we could use, but as far as the display name here, the LEDs on your uh, soft step go, aren't going to be much use to you. Pressing these buttons is just going to do a function. So if you want to have it in a way that's actually going to be useful with a, say, metronome on or loop 1 or loop 2, you can make your own presets. And I've done a couple of different ones. Um, I'm going to sh show you the Let's do the loop, one of the loopy apps. So in this case here, I've got loop one, two, three, and four on the first four buttons on top here, leaving me all of these other buttons to have other, different commands. Now whatever changes you make on here, after it's been done, you're going to have to send it to the soft step to actually make those changes work. Let's start off with uh, loop one. So this is the one I use for recording, overdubbing, and start and stop of the loop. It's going to bring up the modulation window for each of these things that we've done. So starting off with the source needs to be foot on. You've got a whole bunch of different things you can do, um, but to be able to use it easily, foot on will turn the thing on. Taking your foot off will remove the effect from whatever you've done. Gain and offset, I haven't messed with at all. The table here, linear, um, this is important to have so that it uh, works in a, a way that every time you touch your foot it'll work, every time you take your foot off it'll stop. If you have toggle in this case, you'll have to tap the button twice every time you want to trigger a loop. So I leave it on linear. Message type here, depending on what you're looking to do, CC is what I've been using because I can assign a number to it. But you might want to have a, a note if you're trying to trigger different notes or program bends and other things like this. But leave it on CC for the time being. Depending on uh, what number, anything that you want is fine as long as you don't have two commands trying to be on the same CC at the same time. And the output port here. The second line doesn't really matter in this case here. So this is going to be for key 6. As far as the LED display information here, you want to make sure that uh, if you need the LEDs to be used, true will mean every time it's touched on it's going to be showing a green light and it's not going to be showing a red at all. If I wanted it to show red when the my foot was off I could put false and it's going to show foot off on false but let's leave it on none. Key name here is going to be loop 1 which is going to show up in the little LED section of the screen. So I'm happy with how that's all going to work and that's going to be for my loop 1 button. Loop 2 will be basically all of the same features there just it's going to have a different display information here for loop 2 but I've copied all of the same information here and it's going to behave in the same way. Tap, for example, will be for tap tempo. All of the same areas here except in the LED display section. I've done something a little bit different. When it's on it's going to blink true and when it's off it's going to blink false just so that I don't accidentally tap that button uh, when I'm trying to tap loops instead. So I'm happy with all of those changes that I've made, I'm going to go send to soft step and then check that in the standalone, as in when it's not connected to the computer, the set list is going to show I've actually loaded it to, to here. So say there was nothing on here at the moment, nothing would be loaded to the soft step when it's not connected to the computer. These different presets here are in an order of 1, 2, 3 as it's going to turn on and each of them have slightly different commands. So have a crack at the, your editor and see if you can get it to where you want it to be. I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, plugged into the uh, computer as well. plugged in and ready to go at the moment, not connected to any software at the moment. But uh, pressing this button I was just modifying, that's my loop 1, my loop 2, 3 and 4. The play button and stop button. Tap tempo I was showing you, notice the LED behaviour when I'm tapping it will show up a little bit different. Metronome on and off halving the loop length, doubling the loop length, and clearing whatever selected track is. If I want to switch between banks, I'm just going to press on the side buttons, which is going to take me to the different areas. 
So my 5 to 12 is just going to be straight up loops on and off. And the bass one here is going to be the reverse key re-recording a messed up loop, overdubbing a, a, a loop that I want to change, and recording one loop, then moving on to the next one and recording that one. This is going to be reset all. This is going to be selecting the previous loop, selecting the next loop, undoing whatever pending actions are going on, clear loop, and play the selected amount. So the LED behavior can be changed around so that you can visually see what you're actually meant to be pressing. When you're happy with whatever's going on, very easy to switch back to straight up on and off of all of your loops and samples. So yeah, that's how I've set up my loopy setup.